Hello, this is Jake from My Living World's Ants. This is a video on the evolution and history of ants. I hope you enjoy the content. Earth, home to 7.8 billion people. It is 4.5 billion years old and thriving with life. Today, we're looking at the evolution and history of ants. Ants have been on the planet between 140 to 160 million years. Humans have only been around for around 6 million years. Ants existed during the Jurassic period and are still around to this day. It was believed that the ant populations were very small until flowers and other plants started to flourish, providing them with new food sources. This new habitat allowed ants to live in new environments, some living in trees, others living on the forest floor. When ants first came into existence, the world consisted of a supercontinent. Eventually, the continental drift occurred, where the supercontinent Pangaea drifted apart. This separation of new continents split up the ants. They faced new environments and therefore went through a process called speciation. Over hundreds of years, these ants adapted to their new environments, having developed new behaviors, physical appearances, and new ways of living. Ants are eusocial creatures related to bees and wasps in the order Hymenoptera. Ants evolved from Vespoid wasps in the Cretaceous period they evolved from a lineage of stinging wasps. When observing ants trapped in amber from well over 90 million years ago, there are many wasp-like features no longer present in modern-day ants. Ants assumed ecological dominance after adaptive radiation at the beginning of the Paleogene period, representing only 1% of the entire insect population. But by the Oligocene and the Miocene period, ants reached 20-40% to 40 of all insects found in major fossil deposits. The majority of ants will take down live prey or find dead insect remains, but some ants have evolved far beyond hunting. Similar to humans' equivalent of farming, the leafcutter ant found in parts of Central and South America. These ants have adapted to cut and collect leaves to feed a fungus. The large workers will cut big pieces of leaves, then the media workers will cut these into smaller pieces, where they add it to a growing fungus under the ground, which they live in and feed on. The particular route of adaptation these ants have taken means they do not require a protein-based diet, although it is still necessary for brood development, they do not have the need to hunt prey. With most ants relying on pheromones, chemical trails, they have little use for sight, but other species of ants have adapted to be the perfect hunters, developing perfect eyesight and agile moves. To this day, there are well over 12,000 different species of ants. Ants are in the phylum Arthropoda because they have an exoskeleton and joint legs. Ants are one of the most fascinating creatures on the planet, holding a long evolutionary history. But we can't forget the true power behind the ants. It's all because of the queen. This is the reproductive ant in the colony, which some species lay up to 1,000 eggs a day. Queens of certain species have been recorded with a lifespan of over 25 years. Some colonies will consist of multiple queens. This is known as polygene, other species of ants use a gamagate system. This is where no one individual of the colony is a queen, but rather all the female workers possess the ovaries to produce new workers, yet one will be the dominant worker. Ants play an important role in our environment, and having roamed our planet for millions of years before us, they have served a vital purpose. They turn and aerate soil, allowing water and oxygen to reach plant roots. Some ant species collect seeds, which germinate in new areas. They are vital to many ecological systems, eating plants and seeds, as well as consuming decaying plant and animal matter. Many species of ants which prey on insects will also eat pests such as termites. Some species of ants make large nests that go deep underground and have many rooms. The rooms are used for different purposes, such as food storage and caring for larvae. The record depth of an ant nest was recorded at over 4 meters long. Ants also provide a vital food source for other arthropods, such as amphibians, birds and mammals, and even some carnivorous plants like the pitcher plant. The world wouldn't be the same without ants, and I hope that many of you watching, whether old or new to my channel, learn something interesting about these wonderful creatures. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this content. I am very passionate about ants, and I hope I was able to educate many of you on things you didn't know about ants. If you like this content, please subscribe to my channel 
and help me reach 2,000 subscribers. If you like this video, comment below on your thoughts 